First you're going to slide in the bigger section. That side will always stay the same. As I let go you see the shape it takes. Then you have to bend it by hand and put it in the different grooves. The lowest one is level 1, then you have level 2, and then you have level 3 which is the highest. I tend to keep this on the middle groove which is labelled as level 2. In the description it has this labelled as beginner, moderate and experienced. You can start off with level 1 and work your way up from there. But I felt like level 1 didn't feel like much of a curve so I tend to keep it on level 2. The reason I bought it was to try and improve my lower back pain and see if it will improve my posture. Now the first way you're shown how to do this is to lay directly on the device and then lower your back so it lays on top of the back stretcher like so. You may find lying down on the back stretcher this way and getting off of it is quite difficult. This is on the middle setting, level 2. You can keep your knees bent or keep your legs straight or even extend your arms. You'll see which feels most comfortable for you. Another way to get off the back stretcher is to extend your hips with your knees bent and slide the stretcher out. Then you can lie back down and sit yourself up or roll over to your front and get onto your knees from there. So the second way to get onto the back stretcher is to lay on the floor next to it and then slide it under your back then slowly lower your back onto the back stretcher and adjust it where it feels comfortable. If you lay on the back stretcher as it shows you how to do it, you end up sticking out your rib cage as your ribs will be positioned at the highest point of the curve. And to remove it again, you can bend your knees, bring up your hips and slide out the back stretcher. In the description, it says you can lay on this for five to 10 minutes. Other videos I saw said from three minutes to five minutes. So I tend to go with five minutes. Now as I have lower back issue, I have the lower part of my back, which is in line with your belly button, at the top of the curve on the back stretcher. So your lower back is at the highest point of the curve. Now I'll show you what the highest setting looks like on level 3, which gives the back stretcher the biggest curve. Now we'll take a look at setting 1, which is set at the lowest curve. Here I lay down next to the back stretcher and get on the same way. With my knees bent, lift up the hips, position the back stretcher underneath. I'm going to have my lower back where my belly button is at the top of the curve and I aim to lay there for 5 minutes. Now I found after laying on the back stretcher for long periods of time, it feels difficult to lift up your legs and slide out the back stretcher. So the easiest way I found is just to roll off the back stretcher sideways and then bring your body up to your knees. 